Watch you guys got another video here for you. Another fix it video. This one is we couldn't install or update Windows 10 error code 0xc1900101 error. Now, we couldn't install Windows 10 kicks up a load of different error codes. You'll see them on the screen right now. If you're getting any of these error codes, then this video is for you. So first, let's take a look at one of the most common things. It's the C drive is too full and it can't update Windows 10. You will need to clear some of that data off the drive. Another common problem is that your drivers are not updated in Device Manager. You may have a bunch of uh, missing drivers, just like you can see here, and you will need to update all of those drivers to make the update run smoothly. You may also want to unplug any other type of uh, hardware that you have plugged into the computer and that way it doesn't interfere or cause any confliction with the actual update process. Next, go to the search box and type troubleshoot and then basically click on the troubleshoot settings. Additional troubleshooters can be found here by clicking on the additional troubleshooters. And what you're looking for here is a bunch of troubleshooting tools, which you can use because sometimes fix and resolve a lot of these problems. The Windows Update uh, troubleshooting tool is the one we want to use. So click on this one and let the troubleshooter run and try to resolve any problems that may be uh, on this Windows 10 installation. So it does take a bit of time and it will try and detect some problems and hopefully try to rectify those problems. Now, if that doesn't work, you can also run the Microsoft Online troubleshooter and this will basically fix a lot of Windows update errors and you'll see here this is the page i'll leave the link in the video description it does explain all about these error codes there's a bunch of them that can kick up and cause problems when you're trying to update windows 10 so i'll leave all this information in the video description you should check that out and make sure that you read it thoroughly because there's loads of help and advice that you can use here you can click on the get help now you can also choose which version of windows you're running and you'll see here, once you click on this, there will be troubleshoot problems for updating Windows 10. Instead, you click on here, and then you can literally click on the Get Help Now, which will give you a load of help. There's also a long list of things that it gives you to try and to resolve your problem. For instance, free up some disk space, which we've already talked about, restart and install updates, uh, run Windows Update again. Also, disconnect any external hardware update any third party drivers and check device manager for errors we've tried all of those so far and i've showed you those in here and you can see there's a bunch of other stuff you can try so go to this link in the video description and work your way through all of these issues and hopefully you will resolve your problem but what i want to do here is show you another thing you can do which is the virtual agent which also helps you uh, try to resolve a lot of problems with your computer so open up the virtual agent here this is what it looks like and you can type in stuff here and it will give you some information back so it says thank you just wait a moment and it's going to try to uh, automate uh, some steps for you and this will basically open up things on your computer and try to get them working so you can see here it's working away in the background and it will give you some messages and you just need to follow what it's actually doing okay so once it's done that you can click on the continue button and uh, once you click on continue here it will give you some more information it's going to try and do some stuff here and try and open up another window on the pc to try and update windows 10 so let it try and do its thing now it is a bit slow but it's meant for the novice user who is not quite good with computers you can see here i'm going to run a check on updates again for you and it will take a moment and it will open up the Windows update window behind you and basically try to run an update on your system. If there's an issue, it can then continue trying to help you and aid you with resolving some of your problems. So you can see here, wait for the scan to finish. Are you seeing error codes, uh, which will start with 0x? And uh, basically, when you've checked for updates, if you say yes, you've got an error code there, it will ask you, what sort of error code you've got, and it will give you more information about how to resolve these problems. So what it's going to do now is scan for some errors, and if it finds an error, it will report back to you, and it will basically give you some more information here 
which you can then follow on. So basically it's asking you, is the error code any of these here? And you can also say, no, it's a different uh, text error. So you can type in now the error code that you're actually getting on your computer and it will give you some information about how to resolve that. So let me just go ahead and paste in the error code that it was getting here so we can see what it actually says. So I'm going to paste this in and now it's saying troubleshoot Windows 10 upgrade and installation errors. So it's going to start doing some other stuff here. And you can see here, it's basically saying if you're getting this error code, which is the one we're talking about here, followed by one of these additional error codes, the upgrade or the update might have failed due to incompatible drivers or an app. And it will say we'll need to disconnect some devices and update the drivers to try and fix these errors, as we've already discussed in the beginning of this video. So you can see here, did the update install after we removed any hardware or any update drivers? And you can see here, just continue along with this helpful uh, guide here, which is from this uh, virtual agent. It can be quite useful for people that are not familiar uh, with this particular type of problem. And you can see here now, we need to help a bit more. And it's asking you to sign in. And basically, you'll probably end up talking to an agent on the other side, which is from Microsoft, which is going to help you try to resolve your problem. So it's very, very useful uh, for that type of thing. Now for the advanced user, I'm gonna show you some things that you can try uh, to try and resolve this yourself rather than using the agent here. So we're gonna to go to MS config here and we're gonna go up here and what we're gonna do is go to safe boot. This is to get into safe mode and we're gonna restart the system and it will boot us back into safe mode. The reason why we're going into safe mode is because we want to uh, run some tasks from there and we can't do it from the desktop. So what we're going to do here is run a batch file and this will basically clean out uh, the software distribution folder and the cat root two folder. These contain a lot of files for windows updates and sometimes it can get corrupted and it does need to be emptied. Sometimes you need to run something like this just to clean it out and it's very easy to do. It will basically rename both of those folders dot back and it will create brand new ones when you restart your PC. And then you can try and do a Windows update again. So let's go back into MS config and put our system back to normal now because we don't need to be in safe mode anymore and click OK and restart the system. Now we've run that batch file and then you can try to uh, do your Windows update and hopefully that resolves your problem. This does resolve a hell of a lot of problems that are happening with Windows 10 updates. Now also what we're gonna do here is go down to the search box here and type CMD and run this as administrator. This is our command prompt. Once we've got the command prompt open, we're gonna do SFC space forward slash scan now. This is gonna scan the operating system files to make sure they haven't been corrupted in any way, shape or form. It does take a bit of time to run, so be patient and let it run its scan. It will verify all of these files. You can see here, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. That means we've now repaired some corrupted files on our system and hopefully that will resolve the problem. You can try Windows Update and if that doesn't work, you can try this command, which is dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image. If I could spell that right, let me just quickly put image and then space forward slash restore health. And that's what we need to do and then push enter. And once we've got that done, we can then push enter and let that run. It does take a bit of time. And hopefully once you've run this, it will resolve your problems. So we're just gonna let that run and scan the system and restore the health of our image. So let it, Go and do its thing. And once that's done, it should say 100% completed successfully. And then you can try and run your Windows update again. So you can see here the restore operation completed successfully. The operation completed successfully. That's what it basically says there. So we can now move on to the next step. So let's go ahead and move on to the next solution, which is check disk. Now, sometimes your hard drive may be failing and it's very important that you check your hard drive. There's quite a few ways to check your hard drive. You can use um, Crystal Disk Info to quickly check the smart on your drive to see if the drive is failing or if it's got any errors on there. You can also use 
uh, Western Digital's tool to actually run a check on the drive as well to see if the drive is bad. If it's a mechanical drive, you can use that software. It's free to download and use to check the drive. You can also use built-in tools inside Windows here, which is called Check Disk. So let's open up our command prompt. I type in CMD and run this as administrator. And basically what we're going to do here is CHK DSK space forward slash F and then space C colon. And this is basically going to do a check disk of our C drive. So say yes and restart the system and it will do a check on that drive for us. Let that reboot the system. And once it reboots, once you get to the Windows uh, splash screen here, it will say uh, skip. Do not skip this. Just let it run and do a check. OK, it does take a little bit of time, but it's worth checking. And if you get any sort of errors, hopefully you can rectify these errors. Maybe they're just some sort of errors on the drive that you can rectify. But if they're bad sectors or the drive is starting to fail, then it's time to replace the drive and try to reinstall Windows. OK, that scan has now been completed. So now we're back at the desktop here. What we're going to do here is perform a clean boot and try to update Windows that way. So go to the search box and type MS config and open up the system configuration tool inside here on general. Go to selective startup and remove the tick from load startup items. Once you're there, you can go to services and we can then hide all Microsoft services by putting the tick in the bottom and then go over to the right hand side and click on disable all. Once we've done that, you can either boot into safe mode with networking, if you wish, by going onto the boot tab, or you can just reboot to the desktop and try to do Windows updates from there to see if that resolves your problem. So just quickly uh, click on restart here and it will restart the system. So once you get back to your desktop, you can then try your Windows 10 updates and hopefully that has resolved your problem. If it has, you can always go back into MS config and put your settings back to a normal startup mode. And hopefully that has resolved your issue. Now, if you still want to try one more last little update, you can try the Windows 10 update agent and try to use that as your update method. So go to the internet and what you need to do here is go to the Microsoft website where you download the media creation tool. You should see it here, Windows 10 download. Click on there and you should see update now. What you want to do is click on update now and this will download the Windows update agent. And basically you can click on this and it will go through the motions and try to update your uh, Windows 10 for you. I've already got this one updated, but basically once you've gone through all the motions there, it will tell you to restart your system and update your Windows 10. Now there's one last thing I just want to point out here because sometimes this can cause a little bit of a problem and that is your antivirus or protection software that you're running on your system. Whether it'll be uh, some sort of a vast Norton, um, a Cronus with ransomware protection or anything like that, it can cause problems and you may want to disable that temporarily just so you can do your Windows updates. If it is causing you problems, you're going to need to whitelist that and uh, make sure that you are... Uh, getting your updates as you should. Now, one last thing I want to say is I see a lot of people that like to meddle with Windows 10, disabling telemetry and disabling a lot of features on there and basically going into group policy editor or using software, which you can download off the internet to block a lot of your privacy concerns. These can cause problems with Windows 10 updates. So if you have been using them in the past, just try to think back what you used to revert back to a default setting so you're not blocking Windows updates because if that is the case, then you're going to always have that trouble trying to update Windows 10. Also, if you've tried just about everything and you're still having issues, it is time to back up your data and do a fresh install of Windows 10 or use Reset This PC. If you tried all those methods, then you need to do a fresh install of Windows 10. Anyway, I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And I just want to say, have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day. Bye for now.